Are you wondering how you can add videos to your WordPress website, but also a nice looking video player that doesn't make it too seem boring, but also makes it really easy for you to style up the video player? Well, in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to do that. And we will be adding a video player that looks exactly like this. Not only that, I'll also show you how to do that for the mobile device, just like here. When I play my video, it doesn't look any different from the desktop device. You see, it sticks within the page. It doesn't bring up all those interfering icons as you are watching the video. So to get started to add such a video player to our WordPress website, we are going to go straight into the back end of our website. Here I am, dashboard. We are going to go to plugins. Of course, you can't do that without an extra plugin. And in this video, we'll be using the Presto Player Video Plugin. So Presto, by the way, we are also using the free version, so you don't need to buy anything. But at the end of this video, I have a special offer for you. So stick around to check that out. So here I'll say install. And then I activate the plugin. And I don't have to do anything else at the moment. All I have to do is to jump to the page where I want to add the video. So come to pages, all pages. I'll open up my about page, which is this here. I want to add my video right before this container. And I can either start from scratch and say, add a container. And this is going to be the container and I'll add my info box widget. So there we go with our info box widget. We will add a title and the description and also the icon. For instance, let's style up the icon. Come here to the icon, the icon finder, look up for video. And it has to be above the title and then the styling is going to be stacked. And the color, we will use our theme color and the background color is going to be one of these light colors. Uh, the padding is going to be 30 all around. And there we have our video icon. Now let me add the text. Unlock your potential and transform your life today. See how we guide you through the process and help you unleash your true potential. So right over here, I'm going to add, you know, a margin top and bottom of the title so that we can have some spacing between the elements within the info box. So I'll come here, title, and we see at the bottom we're going to add, let me say a 30, and top is going to be a 30. I realized that I was working outside the container that I added, so back, I drag my info box back into the container. And now what I want to say is that we can also minimize the content width within this container. So we can say right over here, content width instead of um, 1,200 pixels, we are going to change this to 750, something like that. Now let's add a new widget. And this is the widget that is going to help us add our video. And this is from Presto Player. So add Presto Player. And right about now, Presto Player gives you options to add videos from different platforms. You can add a video that you uploaded in your WordPress media library or a video that is hosted on YouTube, or a video that is on Vimeo, or an audio, or burning it. So at the moment, we are going to add one from YouTube. Here you will paste your video URL from YouTube. How do you get that? I'll come here to YouTube. I copy, open up any video, or go to the video that you want to add to your website. Copy the video URL. Come back here to your editor, paste the URL, and say add a video. And right about now, we have a video added to our WordPress website. Now let's go into the styling. Now, Presto Player gives you a lot of options here. Some are pro, some are free, but in this video, we're only using the free options. Let's start off with the video presets. We have a default one, a one that is called course, a one that is called simple, one that is called minimal, and one that is called YouTube optimized. Now you can test out how these look like at the front end, but let me give you the difference between the YouTube optimized one 
and the minimal optimized one. So for instance, when you use the one that is having YouTube optimized, it will have those icons just like this over here when someone is playing the video in the front end, the play icon will appear. The forward and back buttons will also display the volume button, the settings buttons, and sometimes you may not want such icons to appear. Just like in my case, just like you see right over here, I don't have any of those. And even when I'm playing the video, and I hover over that video, nothing really appears on that video even when someone is hovering over the video. The only thing that works is to click on the video, pause and play. We want that kind of setting. So back here, I'm going to select minimal and there we are. Now let's set up our color. So we'll go down below here, global branding or global player branding. And here we'll add, you know, our color code Come over here, copy and paste my color code, and there we are. Now, when you look at this video, it has a different thumbnail right over here, but also the actual video on YouTube has a different thumbnail. So how are we able to do that? So with Presto Player, we are able to set up a custom, you know, thumbnail for the video within WordPress. So how do we do that? Select or click on the video widget and come up here and you select what they call a poster image. Select that, come here, select your preferred image that you want to use and boom, there we go. Now we are going to add some padding and all that stuff to our container. So select the container, but first of all, we are going to add our background color. Background color, we are going to select our light color, which is that over there. And now we're going to go ahead into spacing and let's add some spacing at the top and the bottom. So we have an 80 and an 80 at the bottom. Now the other settings that you would want to look into with Presto Player are actually in the pro version where it enables you to add chapters, video overlays, and video settings like muting on autoplay. But in this case, we have the feature to play in line. And here it says that on mobile browsers, play the video on the page instead of opening it up on full screen. So you would want a setting just like that. So what we have to do here, we have what they call a timestamp code. This means that you can have a longer video from YouTube and you can decide that, hey, we want that the video starts playing at this exact point in time. So apparently we don't have to look into anything else. What we have to do is to save and then we are able to go and look at this page right at the front end. I'll come here and say preview the page, go straight to the about page and then we see what we have done. And here we go. Looks pretty neat and I think I like how it turns out. And now if I play the video, Do you see that? We don't have any controls displaying on the video just like we wanted it to be. The video player is matching the website style just like I showed you earlier on in the video. Now, what are the other things that you can look into once you add the video using Presto Player? Of course, the Presto Player has their own page where you can go and adjust some of the settings from the player itself. So in this case, when I come to Presto Player right over here, there is a settings page. So Presto Player, settings. Remember that when we were adding our video, we selected a brand color and that color is already appearing in the settings page. Of course, if you have the pro version, you would be able to add a logo and that would also make it look a little bit more custom. We have what they call the media hub and also the option to set the width of the instant video page width. And if you have the pro version, you can also look at the analytics where you can see how, how many plays and the watch time for the videos that you've added on your WordPress website. By the way, you are able to use Presto Player to add different videos. You can even add playlists uh, using Presto Player within your WordPress website. What else do you want to look into? Integrations with Google Analytics. There are also some YouTube settings over here where if you embed a video, you don't track the user behavior across the platform. So you can also integrate with uh, mail capture platforms all right over here, but hey, that all comes in the pro version. 
and this video is only for you the free users of the platform so lastly i have to mention that presto player has a media hub where you can say add a new media hub and once you add those videos right here in the media hub when you open up presto player in any of the builders you are able to simply select that specific media that you already added and you are good to go but before i close the video remember i mentioned that there is some offer that you would look into if you really want to take presto player with you and stay with it forever they are having a black friday and cyber monday discount period at the moment they will be offering up to 50 percent i can see here they are also going to be offering a discount on the lifetime license and also like the annual starter and the annual starter pro i'll be leaving the link right down in the description of this video but i think if you want to have presto player including the pro features that we just saw but we can't access then this is an option you would look into so thank you so much for watching i hope now you are able to add a nice looking video player to your wordpress website for free with presto player have a good time my name is hamza and goodbye